So Amber is a friend of mine and an example that we don't have to look alike to get along and be friends. All right, so tell me, Amber, what is your point of view on the current uh, state of America is right now? Just America, not the world. Just America. Just America. Yeah, just, you, we'll go. We'll go foreign later. Right now, we're just about what, the, what is. What is your point of view about what's going on in America? I think it's a fucking joke. <laughs> I mean, you want to be real about it? It's a joke. <laughs> We have a president who is way too old to be in touch with anybody. Half of his constituents are way younger and they and the younger population doesn't care and have no interest in politics right now because they don't feel like they can connect with them. Right. There's too much of a generational gap yeah. going on. Yeah. We need somebody who's younger. We need somebody who has been one you got two different types of Americans right now, right? You have the new generation and you have the old generation. And then you have us who are like right in the middle. And I think that they need somebody as a leader who is right in the middle. Because if you have old people who have lived in a generation without the internet, without technology, had different morals, different background, different everything, right? And then you have our generation who lived like that, but we came into this like internet generation and this internet part of the world. And if, but now we have these kids who are on the internet and they're taking everything to the extreme because they didn't have the experiences of, of actually going outside, actually getting hurt, actually doing this stuff. Now we have these entitled kids because the ones that are above us, they ain't talking to these kids, they're annoying. You can't talk to them. They don't make eye contact. They don't talk to you correctly. They can't hold a conversation. They want to talk about what they know. And <laughs> frankly, they don't know shit. They ain't been there, done that. And they, there's not auntie sitting in a kitchen anymore talking about, oh, well, this is how you handle that situation. Well, your auntie went through this, and this is how that situation happened. There's such a disconnect in the home. People don't sit down for dinners on a regular basis anymore. They don't talk to their kids. They rather have their telephone or an Xbox or a computer or some kind of gaming system entertain their children instead of having a one-to-one -one eye contact conversation. And it all starts with the politics. It starts from the beginning and it goes all the way down. And if we don't do something about it, the kids that are coming up that are gonna take care of me and him when we get old, are going to destroy this world, much less the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay, like they're going to, who's going to be working? Who's going to do the construction? Who's going to be truck drivers? Who's going to be outside in Arizona in 127 degree weather, making sure that our road system's good? Nobody could be prepared for it no more. These kids ain't made for hard work. They want to be on a computer. They want instant money. They want YouTube money. They want this Insta famous and they think that showing up is good enough. And I'm, I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. And right now I feel like that's what the president does. He shows up, he's a puppet. Everybody around him tells him what to say and how to say it. Well, if we're gonna have a puppet, you can have one at least relatable to the, the population and not somebody's great, 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 great granddad who looks like he's dying. <laughs> like, <laughs> they don't listen to old people now. These kids don't care. The, your opinion is no longer valid because you have age on it. And that's how these young folk look at it. And I think it's so backwards. What I appreciate about Amber or anybody that I'm talking to is you can disagree with me. You know, I didn't necessarily disagree with anything she had said in uh, that I can think of in the semi interview we just did with her. But it's important to recognize that we have to be straightforward. We've got to share. We've got to hang out with people that are different than us, looking than us, beliefs than us. And we can still be friends. We just have to respect each other's point of view, whether it's different or not. We can go back to that again. It can happen again. This hyperbolic situation that's going on right now with the algorithms and everything, it's very unique in our lifetimes. Not to those who have been brought up from three years old to the phone,
But to those of us that actually had real conversations with real people and weren't hiding our identity, that can happen again. Yeah. You always have to question, why does that person need to hide their identity when they're speaking their mind? But you can read into that if you like. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll have volume six coming up shortly. And we'll see if it's going to be another interview with Amber or possibly more clips, which I've got many, of life on the ground, boots on the ground in Arizona. If you want me back to be in boots on the ground into D.C., then I'm going to ask you to donate to our through our website realmustangmedic.com at the moment it's not looking good it's not looking good not uh, making enough to be able to do this full time and uh, I just feel like God has put it on my heart to create social change and do what I can in my small part with my team to create awareness of what the truth is I hope you recognize that if you do you're probably still listening or watching this video I appreciate that so please um, support us through realmustangmedic.com there's a donation link at the bottom or bottom of the blue buttons and uh, all of your options are there we just added PayPal which is nice to have that account back but we're working out the details because it's new lots of new accounts after many closings uh, when I was canceled back in uh, November of 2021 but I'm back I'm back okay enjoy uh, the series please and more news coming very active on X, and I went long once again. God bless you, and uh, God bless the United States and the world. We all need it, don't we? Yes, we do.